Here we go, corned beef and cabbage spring rolls. And we got our nice mustard dip. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're going to do an absolute cracking recipe. We're using a tin of corned beef, we've got some cabbage, and I've got some frozen spring rolls. We are going to make corned beef, cabbage and spring rolls. Now it's going to be a slightly Asian style, but we will make a mustard type mayo dip to actually eat with them. It's straightforward. We have to prep some ingredients. We're going to dice and slice and we are just going to set it all up whilst the spring roll wrappers defrost. So let's crack on and do it. Okay, I've got an onion. It's a red onion and we want some slices. That is all it is. Now you can slice it that way if you want and put those in. It's up to you. Or we can slice it across. And I rather do the across. Now we have a bowl. I want to chuck everything in that bowl the whole lot because it's all going to be fried together so it's irrelevant you don't need lots of bowls all over let's make a job easier so again a little bit of onion now i have got a little bit of garlic so i'm going to give the garlic a mashing you don't have to use garlic if you want to rely on your onions but you know garlic and ginger are all part of the Asian flavours and you could grate this if you want you could finely grate it that's up to you mince it up now this is a bit of ginger it's a shocking bit of ginger but we only want about a teaspoon so we're going to grate that that's going to give us a nice little Asian flavour in there we want to be grating a carrot in there. So onion, garlic, ginger, carrot. I'm going to be taking half a cabbage. We want a couple of cups of cabbage shredded actually. Now you can grate this as well if you so wish, but I like thin slices. So we're just going to slice it up like that, nice and steady. Okay, so we've got a couple of cups of cabbage there, chuck all that in there. We'll just give that a mix, because if not we're going to have a lump of cabbage or a lump of onions, carrot, cooking in one place and not mixed up. That is our mixture. Okay, grab yourself a pan. We're going to do a bit of a stir fry in there with some oil and we're going to stir fry the veg a nice straightforward recipe in there now don't worry it's going to look a lot it's all going to cook down so just start stir frying nice and gently bring it in there so just nice gentle stir fry take it down a little bit cook it and of course with this recipe it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly cooked all the way through you know it's vegetables and the corned beef is already cooked so it will be absolutely fine when it goes in the oven now i'm oven baking today but you can f deep fry now we need to be adding some Asian flavours to this. We want a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. We want about a tablespoon of sesame oil. All I'm going to say is be careful with sesame oil. It can be overpowering. Now you would normally use rice vinegar in here, but I'm using apple cider vinegar. And we're going about a tablespoon. Cook all that in there. That's cooked. We do not need to go any further than that. 
we want a bit of crunch left in the vegetables, okay? So don't take it down too far, don't soggy it all up. That has got a decent crunch in there. So we'll just put that to one side to cool. Corn beef. Unravel it, take it out of the tin. There we go. Lovely, lovely corned beef. Now corned beef is salty, so we're not adding any salt to our wrappers. We're just going to give that a little like that. And we're just going to put the corned beef in the wrappers with the veg, not mix it in with the veg. Put the veg in, put the corned beef in. Now before this completely cools down, I'm just going to give it a shake of white pepper in there. Give that a little mix in. Just let that cool and then we can carry on. Whilst everything's cooling down, we might as well crack on and put our um, dip together. Okay, we want some Dijon mustard in there. And we want to go in there with some honey. We want a couple of tablespoons of honey. That's about two. Want some mayo? I'm probably going to go a really, really huge two tablespoons, somewhere right about there. And we're going to go some garlic powder. Probably go half a teaspoon. Maybe it's a bit of white pepper. A nice little mix in there. And this is going to be our flavoured dip. Now, we have to taste this because if it's too sour, more honey. If it's too sweet, a little bit more Dijon. A little bit more honey for me. Probably about half a tablespoon. So we're going to have a fairly mustardy, sourish dip to go with our uh, spring rolls. Now normally, you know, with an Asian spring roll, you would have soy sauce, which is a little bit sour. So it's like a sour take on soy sauce so there we go now I'm going to stick that in the fridge and let it cool down and the flavors come together now I've got a tray because I'm using the air fryer today high sapienta 24 liter air fryer we are going to bake them in the oven now, I'm usually not too careful when it comes to taking these apart I normally normally rip them I can be perfectly honest. Okay, spring rolls. Now take our wrapper. We're gonna go on there, somewhere around about there with our mixture. And then we're gonna go on there with some corned beef. Something like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of water. We're gonna do that. Like that. So easy this, honestly. Take that up there, put that like that, fold in like that. Now I always fold in on a slight angle because when I roll, it always pushes out, always. Okay, and then roll. That is all it is. Put some water on there so it sticks and roll it over and we got a perfect spring roll like that okay we're just going to chuck them on our tray at the moment and then we'll sort them out in a minute again let's just crack on Okay, you want to be pre in your oven if you're not deep frying these. We're not deep frying today. We're going to baste them with a little bit of oil and shove them in the oven. Now I'm using the air fryer and we want to be going on. And on here we're going to use the air fryer setting, which is like a little chip setting. There. And that goes 190 for 20 minutes. That's not a problem. Hit start 
let it warm up. Okay, if you've got one of those fancy sprays, choo -choo 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 all over and you're ready to go. If you're like me, I don't have a spray. We're going to just brush on a little bit of oil. Okay, now we want to be giving these a little turn. And then we're going to turn them back again. We want the oil to go all the way around. Okay, on there a little bit more. And then put the seal side back down. Seal side down, we don't want these opening up in the oven. That's nice and straightforward. Oven's preheated enough, in they go. They only want about 12 minutes. When you've had about halfway, we need to be turning them over. Just turn them over so they crisp up on the other side. In they go, back in. Okay, let's have them out. So what we'll do is we'll just give them a little minute on there and then we'll serve them up. We'll put them on a little tray thing with the sauce and we'll have a go. Here we go, corned beef and cabbage spring rolls. And we got our nice mustard dip. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Nice, crispy. And let's cut it in half. In there with all our corned beef and everything. Look, look at that. And what does our mustard dip taste like? Mustard dip to me. Very much honey and mustard actually. Mm. I'll be perfectly honest because I'm not really a, a Dijon mustard fan to be quite honest. I think there's too much Dijon mustard in there for me. I think we'll rearrange the recipe and bring it down. Well, that's our corned beef and cabbage spring rolls made in the air fryer, in the 24 litre High Sapienta air fryer. Fantastic filling in there. We filled that up just right. The saltiness of the corned beef, you lose that with the dip, to be quite honest. Even though this dip has got a sour taste, in my opinion, from the Dijon mustard. Overall, it's superb. That is really, really nice. What do I think of it overall? I think the spring rolls are fantastic. I think the dip needs taking down a little bit on the Dijon mustard. And that'll be absolutely fine. Nice taste of honey through there. This, you can only taste a little bit of sesame oil in there. Really nice Asian flavour. If you like what we're doing, a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. Catch you in the next video.